Hi there, this is a technical breakdown video for the STEM Audio wall device. The wall device is a speakerphone that's specifically designed to be mounted on a wall surface or to be placed on a credenza or any kind of furniture that you might have in your conferencing space. Like every speakerphone, it's made out of two main components, and that is microphones and speakers. If you go ahead and look at the front of the device, right behind the fabric, you have 15 beamforming microphones, and all the way at the far edges of the device on both ends, you'll have a full range speaker, whereas right in the back, you'll have two subwoofers. On the side of the device, you see three buttons, just like every other device, and that is a volume up, volume down, and a mute button. It's important to mention that the volume up and down are for the speakers in the device, meaning as you increase or decrease the volume, you'll hear the speakers louder or not as loud in the room, whereas the mute button is specifically for the microphones. Behind the fabric in the front, we actually have LED lights that indicate the state of the device. These are gonna be either red or blue, if you see a slow red pulsing light, that means the device is muted. If you see a rapid red pulsing, it means the device is being pinged. Solid red line means the device has an error. Single blue light moving from, from right to left means the device is booting up. Blue lights turning off from left to right, that means the device is restarting. If you see partial blue dots shifting, that means the device is adapting and testing, and you should be quiet. If you see a directional blue light, meaning a blue light that's following the person that's talking into the room, that's just showing you the direction finding or the beam forming of the device, and that's only gonna occur while you're in a call. In the back of the device, we actually have a connector panel. The connector panel is made up of three things. A Kensington lock hole that's designed to allow you to lock down the device if you want to. A USB-B connector that allows you to plug this device directly into a PC in case you wanna use this as a standalone device and don't need to use other devices in the room. And then finally, the most important, we have an RJ45 or an ethernet connector that's designed both for data, management, and most importantly, power. That's why it's very important that when you plug this into a wall socket, you know that that wall socket supports PoE+. If it does not, you can just use a PoE plus injector and that should do the trick for supplying the device with power. To install the device, all you need to do is bring it into the room, place it or mount it to the location that you wanna use the device, and then plug the device into a wall socket that supports PoE Plus and wait for the device to boot up. And when it's booted up, you're now ready to actually install this into the room. To learn how to do that, we're gonna actually talk about that in section two. But other than that, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.